Hello, hello, peeps. I hope all you, all of you are doing great. And uh, I just came to you with another video, and let, let's just get into it straight away. So I got a 2022 driver standings after the Italian Grand Prix. So in first position, you got Max Verstappen. He's got 335 points with 11 wins. So Max has been imperious this season. No one's been able to touch him. Cars are working well. Everything's just going for him, you know. Most of the races is winning it with no challenge. So, yeah, I think the FIA has to do something about that and try to make Formula 1 a bit more competitive. It's not like one driver is better than the rest of the drivers. It's just like one, his ability is, is superior to, to his teammates, yeah, and also the other cars are not competing with Red Bull at the moment. And in... Second position, you got Charles Leclerc. He's got 219 points with three wins. In third position, you got Sergio Perez. He's got 210 points with one win. In fourth position, you got George Russell. He's got 203 points with zero wins. And then in fifth position, you got Carlos Sainz Jr. In the Scuderia Ferrari, he's got 187 points with one win. And in sixth position, you got Lewis Hamilton. He's got 168 points in the Mercedes AMG Patronus. Then number seven, you got Lando Norris in the McLaren with 88 points. And number and in eighth position, you got Esteban Ocon in the Alpine with 66 points. Just below him in ninth position, you got Fernando Alonso. In the Alpine as well with 59 points. Then in 10th position, you got Valtteri Bottas with 46 points. So we've done the top 10 and let's move on to from 11th to 20th. Or 22 actually. So in 11th position, you got Pierre Gasly. He's got 22 points. He's in the Alpha Tauri. And in 12th position, you got Kevin Magnussen. He's got 22 points as well. So they're tied. And in 13th position, you got Sebastian Vettel. He's got 20 points. But I remember he missed a few races at the start of the season as well. And in 14th position, you got Daniel Ricciardo. He's got 19 points. And Daniel doesn't have a contract for next season. So we're going to have to see how that goes. In 15th position, you got Mick Schumacher with 12 points. And yeah, he's looking for a seat as well. And that's the son of the legend, Michael Schumacher. So they should help him out, hopefully. And in 16th position, you got Yuki Tsunoda with 11 points. In 17th position, you got Grand Uzo. He's got six points. In 18th position, you got Lance Stroll. He's got five points. In 19th position, you got Alexander Alban, he's got four points. In 20th position, you got Nick De Vries. He's got Nick De Vries in the Williams. He's got two points. But he was a standing driver. And he's got two points on his debut. So yeah. And in 21st position, you got Nicholas Latifi with zero points in the Williams. And Nico Hulkenberg was a standing driver for Vettel when Vettel missed a few races in the Aston Martin. He's got zero points. So that's the the Formula One driver standings after the Italian Grand Prix, and yeah. So let's try again. So in first position you got Max Verstappen, second position Charles Leclerc, third position Sergio Perez, fourth position George Russell, fifth position you got Carlos Sainz Jr., sixth position you got Lewis Hamilton. 7th position, you got Landon Norris. 8th position, you got Esteban Ocon. 9th position, you got Fernando Alonso. 10th position, you got Valtteri Bottas. 11th position, you got Pierre Gasly. 12th position, you got Kevin Magnussen. 13th position, you got Sebastian Vettel. 14th position, you got Daniel Ricciardo. 15th position, you got Mick Schumacher. 16th position, you got Yuki Tsunoda. 17th position, you got Gran Uzo. 18th position, you got Lance Stroll. 19th position, you got Alexander Alban. 20th position, you got Nick DeFries. 21st position, you got 
Nicholas Latifi and in 22nd position you have Nico Hulkenberg so yeah we're moving on to the Singapore Grand Prix and yeah practice one practice two is done so Max can clinch it the world championship this weekend if he outscores Charles Leclerc by 22 points and I think Sergio Perez by 25 points or something like that yeah if he outscores Sergio Perez by lesser points than that you know so Max is on course for his second world championship obviously this one much more cleaner less controversial but yeah and um, I've I've enjoyed a few races, but I haven't enjoyed the races where it's just one with no challenge. You know, this is what Formula One tried to fix. They made the rules to to give the uh, Mercedes a challenge, and it switched to the other side where Red Bull was just winning everything without a challenge. So I don't enjoy races where one driver wins with without a challenge. You know, I don't care who it is. I want to see a challenge for the race win. So I feel like maybe the next few years the rules might even out the field. But maybe Max is the best driver at the moment. And he's proven his skill, you know. So he deserves a lot of credit. I will give him that. And yeah. There's, you know, there's more subjects to be touched on. But hopefully towards the next season uh, we'll, get in, uh, we'll get into that and we'll discuss that. But don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like comment as well and share it because when you share it other people find out about the information as well you know um motor racing is there to enjoy you know to me there's no negative energy in motor racing really there shouldn't be but yeah it's it, it felt to me like red bull you know christian horner you know and he they were saying a lot of negative uh, they brought a lot of negative vibes to formula one in 2021 Obviously, it's fizzled out a bit more. And, yeah. So, yeah. I feel like Formula 1 should be strictly positive energy. And all you content creators out there putting out negative energy. No one's appreciating that, you know. you got to keep it positive because, you know, it's educational as well. And, you know, it's very conscious as well. You know, it's a very conscious sport. So, yeah. And, yeah, I'm expecting a good Grand Prix this weekend. And I'm going to cut the video here. So take it easy and yeah, I'll check you guys later.